we log in with our Epic account on first client. On second, we will use device ID. The host created the lobby and is shown as a connected player. The client joins, and both players' names get replicated to each other. Welcome back. Today, we will be working on showing connected players to the lobby. But first, we have our player nickname now saved in our save game. So we need to use it in lobby creation. Now we don't need to generate a name. We can just get the game instance and get the player nickname, then use it in place of generated one. Now for hotfix on updating lobby player's count. Get the game state, get the player array, and get the length of it. This will be the total number of connected players. Add the remaining open connections to get the number of public connections. This hotfix only works if using one of two, or public connections, or private connections. I asked the creator of the plugin to add the number of connections to the session info. Now, let's create a UI to show the connected players in the lobby. Let's name the vertical box connected players box and make it a variable. Select border and navigate to our styles. Duplicate border style and name it rounded. In the style, let's change the draw as to rounded box. Now, let's go ahead and make an interface event for our lobby widget. Name it LW underscore update player nicknames. Now implement it. To get all connected players, we can use game state. Get players array. Do for each loop. Now, this will give us the player state of each connected player in our lobby. But we haven't created a custom player state yet, so let's go and create one. Name it BP underscore lobby player state. This class is replicated on the server, and here we can store any data related to the player that we want to have access to from the server or to other players. In our case, let's create a variable of type text to store the player's nickname. We need to set the player nickname variable as replicated so that other players can get the correct nicknames. All right, let's go to our menu game mode and set the player state. As always, we do not do any unnecessary casting. So, we create an interface for our player state to get and set the player nicknames. Name it BPI underscore lobby player state. 
Okay, let's create functions to get the player nickname. Let's use the LPS, Lobby Player State, acronym for our player state interface. For the get function, create an output for player nickname of text type. Now add our interface to Lobby Player State. Now we can get the player nickname in the widget. Make sure it's player state interface. Now we need to fill the connected players box with the player nicknames. To do that, we need to create a new widget. Go to widgets, modular, and create a common user widget named BP underscore player nickname. Make the nickname text variable and name it player nickname. Delete the event tick and pre-construct and leave only the event construct. In the event construct, get the player nickname text and set its text. Promote the text to a variable and name it player nickname. Set it exposed on spawn. Now we can add the player nicknames to the connected players box. First, let's create a widget and use the player nickname as the widget class. Since we have the player nickname exposed on the widget creation, we can set it right away. Now we need to add created widget to or connected player box. Search for Add Child. This is almost it for the widget side. We just need to clear the player box before each call of the event. Look for Clear Children. Now in our menu player controller, we need to set the player nicknames. Let's create a custom event to set the player nickname on the player state. Name it set player nickname. Let's set the replication for the custom event to run on the server, as only the server can set values that are replicated to other players. You'll need to manually add server prefix to the event name to indicate this event runs on the server. For me that did blueprint assist. Now I've forgotten to make an interface to set the nickname in the player state. Let's do it now. Name it LPS underscore set player nickname. Add output type text named player nickname. Add set interface to player state. Get the player state, we can access it directly from the player controller, as it is native to the player controller. Now use our interface to set player nickname. Add new function and name it get and set player nickname. Here get game instance and get player nickname. Get set player nickname server event. For the player nickname, do a select node. Get epic player nickname. Check if it's empty. 
Use it as our index for select node. Set player nickname for false condition. And for true, use our game instance nickname. Add return node at the end. Okay, now we need to create an interface for the menu controller to update the widget. Name it PCWM underscore update player nicknames. Add it to menu controller. Let's create a custom event called update player nicknames and set its replication to run on the owning client. Get our base UI widget and get menu stack. From menu stack, get active widget. Active widget will be our lobby widget. Call its interface to update player nicknames. Always make sure you calling right interface. We now can call our client event from interface. Go open our menu game mode. Here on post login, we call our controllers to update the widgets. We'll need to add a substantial delay before calling the client event to update the player nicknames, since the widget will not be created right away as the player logs in. As for example was used general game mode pawn, not custom lobby pawn, we had to do delays to control camera and such. I also implement other method, so you can choose one you like. Then, we'll get the players and do a for each loop and update their nicknames. Make sure it's the controller, not the lobby widget. We can collapse this and name it update player nicknames. Let's copy that function and do the same thing on post logout, but now we can have a smaller delay, since the controller destruction and player state updates won't happen instantly. Now we can do a quick test to see if it works. We see our host nickname in connected players. Now we also see new player joining. All works. Another way to do the same thing is to use a widget activated event and set a timer by event to loop and update the nicknames. Let's drag from the event pin and search for the create event node. Then we can select our update player nicknames event to call it. Let's set a timer to loop and set the time to one second. So now every second after widget activation, the widget will update the player nicknames. Since we've now handled the player nickname updates in the widget, we can go to the game mode and remove the logic from the post login and logout events. Let's do last test. We log in with our Epic account on first client. On second, we will use device ID. The host created the lobby and is shown as a connected player. The client joins, and both players' names get replicated to each other and they are added to the connected player's UI. Now we have new functionality implemented. More is coming. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.